We have a special eight on your side crime tracker report tonight. Tampa now has a cyber crimes unit thanks to the Florida Attorney General. As News Channel 8's Peter Bernard shows us, investigators are focusing their attention on sexual predators who use the internet to arrange sex with children. Attorney General investigator Gretel Cheveria doesn't look like a 13-year-old girl. Um, they'll just continue asking if I want to play. And but when she chats online, she sometimes acts like it, or perhaps a 14-year-old boy, or whatever she needs to be to snag adults trying to entice children into sex. But you come on down here, down to the bottom, and it says, he's trying to avoid NBC. Like the news channel we respond, yeah, I don't want to be there. Where? On the news, getting arrested after going after a young girl. This evening on News Channel 8's earlier reports, I showed you live how adults, mostly men, are quick to start sexually charged conversations with people they believe are minors at the risk of being busted or on TV. Now that this new cyber crimes unit is operational, internet perverts have another reason to beware whom they're talking to. Kids are at risk. There is nothing more important in our state than protecting our children from these sick predators and from these child pornographers that every day are on the internet uh, causing new victims to occur. The new Tampa Cyber Crimes Unit consists of nine different agencies working together to combat bad guys attempting to do bad things. I want to give this warning to the predators. If we haven't arrested you yet, we will. You leave our children alone. While the internet can be a tremendous resource, it also can be a tool for criminals. Uh, instead of just focusing on just one particular uh, aspect of services on the internet, we can expand that now to many different areas that, uh, that we know that the predators are online. By the way, that guy calls himself Floyd Lee, lives in Clearwater. This could eventually lead to a bust. So and as we showed you live, it doesn't take long for the perverts to bite. Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.